we're going to build a decision model in decision model notation 1.3. We'll be using the Trisotech decision modeler for our work. In our scenario, we are working with a point of sales application that requires the computation of loyalty points based on items in a shopping cart. In terms of DMN, we'll look at decision tables, fields, and context. Once we've completely tested our decision model, we're going to cloud publish it. We'll download the, an open API to Postman and execute it outside of the Tricytec environment. So let's get going with our project. First, we create a data type T shopping cart with it's a structure that includes phone number and a collection of items, which is a structure that includes attributes of SKU, quantity, and unit cost. Now we create input data called shopping cart, and we define the type as T shopping cart, and then we create a decision loyalty points computation. Now we're going to create the logic for a decision as a series of context step. And the first context step is to compute the item cost list with the field expression for item in shopping carts that items return the quantity times the unit cost. Then we create the total cost as the sum of item cost list. Now we're going to create a decision table that decides the rate of loyalty points earned based on the total cost. The input, of course, is the total cost, which we just computed. And the output is the rate, which is a number. Under 30, they earn no loyalty points per whole dollar spent. Between 30 and $100, they earn five loyalty points per whole dollar spent greater than or equal to $100. They earn seven loyalty points per whole dollar spent. Now we're going to compute the loyalty points for each item. So the first thing we do is put in a conditional step. And we say if rate is greater than zero, then we create an iterator step for item in shopping cart. We're going to return the loyalty points computation, which is defined as the floor of the unit costs times the quantity times the rate. In the else statement, we can return a null list. So then we compute loyalty points as the not null sum function because loyalty points could be a null list. And then we return loyalty points as the result of the decision. So let's validate and test our decision model. The first thing we do is click the validate check mark and it validates our DMN. No issues were found. Then we go to Bruce Silver's uh, decision table analysis. Click on that and no issues are found. Now we're going to execute the model in a test mode. So we click on the test and we're going to enter two items into the data input. One item at $10 and a quantity of two items at $20 for a total of $50 worth of stuff, 250 loyalty points. We see that indeed we do get 250 loyalty points. Note also that business rule number two in the decision table fired and is highlighted in orange. Let's publish this to the cloud. It becomes part of the service library. Then we download the API, which is in JSON. Let's have a look at that. That's a, a Swagger file, which defines the REST API. We're going to import it into Postman. And that's going to create a collection, including the REST endpoint for executing the decision model external to the uh, Tricotech environment. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our authorization with OAuth2 token, and then we're going to edit the body of the REST request, which is a post. Again, we're going to enter one item, quantity one at $10, and a second item, quantity two at $20. And we can see that we get 250 loyalty points again, which is valid. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. My email is tom at advancedcomps.com. And of course, you can reach Trisotech at trisotech.com. Have a great day.